Hi guys, good evening. Hope you are doing well. In this video, I will explain about SOC KPI metrics. So KPI full form is Key Performance Indicators. For 24 bar 7 SOC environment, we do have a couple of metrics. Uh, those matrices are, you can see in the my screen. So these are all the metrics we have to validate. If you want to implement 24 bar 7 SOC operations for each and every project or every uh, client, whatever we are working on. So those KPIs are. So before going to SOC KPIs, I want to clarify one more KPI that is belongs to personal KPI or employee KPI. So employee KPI is depending on completely performance growth or appraisal growth year on year. So year on year, every company from April to March, they will validate. This is the finance cycle. Most of the companies will follow. Otherwise, John to December, this is the another finance cycle. Most of the so North America companies, they will follow for uh, appraisal cycle or salary hike or performance growth. So that KPIs are different and SOC KPIs are different. That's what I want to clarify uh, before proceeding SOC KPIs. Hope it's clear. Individual performance, key performance indicators for salary hike is different versus SOC key performance matrices or metrics are different. Hope this one is clear. Now let's go and see. So first KPI for any SOC operational support or implementation, ISM, Information Security Management, and these uh, metrics, whatever we are keeping or whatever KPI we are defining. So according to the frequency, we have to go and we have to review the audit. So it depends on customer agreement or client agreement or project agreement between or consulting and service-based company to customer or client. So couple of companies, they'll follow monthly frequency, couple of companies, they'll follow quarter, quarterly basis KPIs, frequency review, couple of companies, they'll follow annual and couple of companies, they'll follow off yearly as well, it depends. So, but anyway, in this screenshot, I given monthly basis. So first KPI is ISM, Information Security Management. So most 100%, it's very difficult to achieve all these key performance indicators or KPIs, at least if you are achieving 98 to 95 in between, that's more than sufficient. So under the first ISM, Information Security Management, so these things will fall under the, for example, cyber resilience. And also we have successful workstations, updating patch updates, vulnerability management update, zero vulnerability identification. And also we have accuracy and also enrolling of the workstations or patch management console, uh, VAPT. Okay, so uh, uh, VAPT, whatever vulnerability test and pen test. So client will identify those uh, mitigations we have to take care. And also, even we have to coverage all the tools like EDR or firewall or proxy. So, or uh, 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 DLP, or is there any tools? Whatever they are keeping under the uh, so project. So, we have to review all those. Basically, it depends. So, it's not the same KP for each and every project and every client, whatever we are supporting. Hope it's clear. So, that is first part ISM Information Security Management KPA. Second one is change management security issues. So couple of times what we have to do, for example, we have to upgrade firmware or we have to upgrade. So any other tools like a firewall or SIM tool or EDR tools or vulnerability management tools or proxies or NADS and APS. So whatever tools they're keeping under the scope of the work that is called SOW. So we have to go and we have to verify. So all the firmware upgrade. So if you want to do any firmware upgrade or tool upgrade, just I think we should not do for that one. We have to raise a change request using change management process. It is defined by ITIL. And after that, we have to go and we have to implement this particular. So change management process for different types of activities like firewall upgrade or SIM tool upgrade or correlation tool creation or patch updates and so on. So that is called change management. So after approval only, we have to take care of all these change management process along with change request. So next one is risk management. So risk management, uh, so we have to identify the risk and also we have to analyze those risks. 
so is there any risk is involved so under this one we have to uh, make sure that whatever complaints or gs team agreed and also we have to take care of the mitigation and access plan once we identify the risk so that is called risk management so next one is service asset and configuration management under this one we have to identify the accuracy of the servers how many are integrated to edr tool or otherwise uh, it is integrated to proxy or integrated to vulnerability management tools or integrated to sim tools so that accuracy it is whether it is matching like asset inventory kind of thing so next one is knowledge management under the knowledge management whatever so approved resources and also approved category and domains we have to provide uh, minimum articles per month like a, for example per day sorry per month we have to send two articles what's going on across the world wide so or per weekly once so it depends so that is about uh, knowledge management next one is event management so event management normally it will uh, take care of the uh, so critical high or low or medium related events uh, that one leads to uh, define the sla whatever uh, priority one or priority two or priority three tickets example a uh, couple of eps count is not coming and it's a overshoot nothing but it's a very high amount of the eps count is coming in that scenario how we can troubleshoot that particular issue so that one will fall under the event management so even parsing related issues and indexing related issues also will fall under the event management that is also one of the kpa we have to review regularly next one is incident management under this incident management we should make sure that all the instances whatever we are raising is covered or not and also support and also number of percentage instances incorrectly categorized based on the attack wise and also how many are false positive and true positive and also we have to define the knowledge base articles and also we have to uh, open the tickets and close the tickets and on hold tickets or pending tickets and cancel duplicate or tickets all those incident management we have to take care using ticketing tools or inbuilt case management tools next one is a uh, uh, request fulfillment uh, whenever any so uh, client is providing uh, some of the requests to us so for example support coverage 24 bar 7 and also we even we can categorize the number of instances and also tickets it's open so uh, those its request is based on completely so client requirement or business requirement next one is problem management so in the problem management we have to identify proactive issues whatever we identifying in the soc operations so those problems we have to solve so for example monthly two or monthly one or maybe quarterly three or four something like that for example so we are missing lot of false positive in the sim tool for soc operations we have to reduce that false positives so that is one of the problems we identify so we can fix that particular issue so in the similar way parsing related issues are happening regularly and whatever raw logs are integrated sim tool those logs are not parsing by sim tool in that scenario we can go and we can fix that particular problem same thing it is related to indexing and so on so these are the couple of problems we have to uh, sit with the respect to uh, client or customer and we have to do the performance matrix measurement so it's complete metric whenever we are referring metric we have to make sure that always it should be in quantity so quantity we have to prove it resource management whatever resources when you say resources l1 l2 and l3 team so how many l1 l2 and l3 team people are available so whether they are supporting on call and whether they are available 24 bar 7 whether they are providing and also whether skill set is available or not all those part of resource management next one is continual service improvement so continual service improvement is completely depending on the so completion of all agreed okay so what are preventive or corrective actions and also a stabilization of the soc operations and also even we have to take care of the customized correlation rule recreation fine tuning troubleshooting new logs onboarding all those things it's like a continuous improvement so uh, soc or sim tool it's not like a one day job or two day job we can complete and after that we can go and we can deploy the tool directly it's not like that so we have to do the continuously so improving of the respective operations of the soc that is like a continuous improvement final reporting so reporting is also one of the metrics so uh, we can 
verify the SOC key operations performance indicators. So we have to generate reports. There are two different types of reports like uh, technical reports and also process oriented reports related to so incidents. So these reports we have to generate uh, whatever agreement we have defined, whether weekly or monthly or quarterly. So that is the frequency basically. So these reports also we have to generate. So these are the couple of key performance indicators we have to define. So whenever we are implementing any SOC operations uh, to the customer or client, or even it is applicable to product based companies also. So please comment it. If you don't understand about this particular concept, I will re verify once again, and I will uh, try to explain once again in one more video. And thank you so very much for watching the video. Have a wonderful evening.